The two first ones on the ranch, mm -hmm. they are very special. They're hybrids. Really? Mm-hmm. So, hybrids happen on the activity, first of all. <laughs> then, uh, my partner <laughs> has another partnership with a gentleman on the Caribbean side, and they build the biggest cages to reproduce macaws in captivity. So they put green ones and red ones together. <laughs> so they never expect that they're going to make each other a surprise with that, these those crazy guys. <laughs> He's just gonna like. Hey! What's your problem, guys? Come on, be nice! <laughs> yeah, Nyahu is the only one that flies. Oh, really? Yeah, so actually, Atlas has healthy wings and, and Big Red, the, the one that is follow is chasing uh, uh, Nyahu. But <laughs> they, they're lazy, they don't wanna fly. Uh -huh. Yes. Then, uh, as a species, well, like I told you, we are very happy because they are coming back. They are getting, uh, spreading out their territory and the population is growing up. So, thank God because that, and actually yes. the government, uh, well, they, they make their part, you know. There's uh, a lot of limits and laws about to, to touch these animals. You cannot have them as a pet at home. It's illegal. If you do, you take a risk to pay a big ticket. We'll go to jail. Okay. Yeah. Is this one kind of shy? Yeah, this one is a little shy. Come on, yeah. Coco, what's going on with you, bro? But they're mates for life, right? They, exactly. Yeah. They, they, they are monogamous. They stay with the same mate all his life. That's a big lesson to learn. That's right. Yeah. Then uh, if one of the mates die, the widow will stay alone the rest of his life. Mm. Yes. They spend uh, around two years raising the kids, you know, <laughs> raising the chicks, I mean. Is he showing off? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, they're all showing off. <laughs> yes, and um, then when the, when the chicks are ready, they let them alone and start again with a different family. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a very slow process. Figure out the signs when you see their colors. Are you filming? Uh, yeah, yeah. We used to have them in that cage. So, with a bigger fort than we did, you know, we started to save money. Uh, then uh, we had the, the black fence that is out, this camera is out in front. Uh, like two dogs playing. I know, they are funny. So we pick it up from there. And then we had, long time ago, we had a little butterfly garden. Else. Upside so down, you think that'd be a disadvantage? <laughs> oh my gosh. We this. Even we're still paying a new screen. Actually, in total, the total amount to build a cage like this is around $4,000. Oh so, for a tiny project like this with our customers, you know, it has been very difficult for us. That's right. Yeah. So but, well, thank God now we got. This this very cage for them. It's great. Yes, and you know, people have been they have been uh, helping. Sometimes they came here. He always, say, he always ah. wants to get in the middle. But it always pulled his wing. <laughs> <laughs> Two against one, that's not fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they like, hey, well, this is a donation for the cows. So they are giving us a show. Yeah, and now we we have this. And even in this case, you're so much better because you can come through. Oh, you're so pretty. Yeah, Sunday I don't have mangoes today, 